Hi and welcome to your gold market updating charts of the day. It is the 18th of September 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets to walk you around what's happening in Asian markets today. Let's have a look at what's come across the news. Of course, on Friday, we saw a week session in the US. All major indices closed near the lows of the session and really giving up most of any gains that had been there during the course of the week. A couple of reasons for this. I think perhaps the market is still reluctant to push things higher in light of a few headwinds currently and one of the major headwinds of the moment is what central banks are going to do next we have some major central bank action this week which i'll talk about in a moment u.s futures mildly positive in the early asian session asian markets did start lower but are mixed now the nikkei is outperforming the asx is down around 0.6 percent but off the lows of the session still seeing most of the sectors in negative territory at this stage European futures are pointing to a cautious open, but again, looking slightly better than they were at the start of the Asian session. And the VIX did bounce on Friday a little, but it's still near support around pre-pandemic lows. US dollar index failed to breach resistance on Friday. It's slightly lower today so far, and gold is bouncing off the 200 MA. Copper is pulling back from the 385 resistance that we referenced last week. And oil just continues to move higher and is at early November highs still. And $100 oil looks very much on the cards at this stage. Bitcoin is continuing to test the top of the short-term range at 26500 We do notice in Asia today, it has poked its head above that key level. So it might be worth keeping an eye on over the course of the next few hours. Very little on the data front today of any note at all. But there is significant data out this week. We've got Eurozone and UK CPI, US, UK and the People's Bank of China rate decision and of course global PMI data on Friday. So lots for the market to digest. That US interest rate decision for your reference is on Wednesday evening. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. And we're going to start with uh, WGX West Gold Resources. We talked about this company last week and how it was looking interesting on a breach of this 174 level. I started on the weekly chart just for the wider picture but if you look at the daily chart we are struggling to move over this 181 level uh, despite earlier in the session looking as though we were going to push on forward see where this closes towards the back end of the day it could be interesting on the fx front we are looking at the gb pound yen you can see here 182.88 looks like an important level we have actually tested that in today's trading so far, there could be a 33 pip move to the downside if we breach that level. But FX markets, as you can see from this, are very, very choppy at the moment. So going for big wins, particularly in light of all the data that's out this week, might be very, very tough. So looking for short term 30 to 40 pip moves may be the way to go for the next few days. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.